Welcome back to RPG Quest, and we are back to game 150. There's Towers 2, Flight of the Stargazer, and the Tari Jaguar. We reached floor 12, although not really, because we've got to go back. We have to go back to the library, do some tests, and then go back up and do a bunch of stuff on those floors. Probably be a couple hours before we finish this, but we're definitely near the end. How's it going, everybody? Bridge, hello. Hopefully, hopefully you'll, you'll be feeling better soon. It sucks. Zerodyne, hello. Majorino, Tex, Elfish, hello. Disguise sick. Welcome. And more uh, combat. Yep. <laughs> gotta, gotta love the uh. So many enemies. Clear the way to the. No, actually, no. I reload. Yeah, that's right. When I reloaded, I I'll have to redo the top floor. That's gonna be annoying. Since I reloaded uh, when I went to check the library and found a freaking key on the floor to open that door. But now we gotta do some tests. So let's start up the emulator, the big PE mute with the Jaguar, big cube Jaguar. Using the power of the Jag. Version 1.01. .01. Probably another version of this, but I mean, let's be honest, I'll never play a Jaguar again after this. This would be the one and done. One of the slight annoyance is that if it's not the highlighted... Oh, that's my controller's on. Load cartridge, recent history, hours two. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Noodle, how's it going? Yeah, I'm, emu I'm emulating a big P <laughs> text. It's not good. Yang Jaeger, the same concept. All right, uh, continuation. Which one's my B button? I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> this one. There you go. Start the timer. Let's continue on. It's actually loading. All right, so yes, we're at the, uh, yeah, I guess we're at the library. I do these tests. I mean, I should look at the test yet, so hopefully these are hopefully these are simple, not like go find this item in the middle of nowhere. Test of magic, oh great. <laughs> can I can I skip that one? Uh crap. Do we need keys for these? Uh I don't have any more keys, do I? Shit. <laughs> Have to cast a spell. Uh oh. You need that. Uh... Oh, thank God. <laughs> the FPS makes me hate RPGs. It's it's not the FPS that's bad. The the main issue is the the momentum you get for everything you do. Like, even in this menu here, like, the, the cursor has momentum, has, like, inertia. So it's, like, it, it, it you know, it's, it slowly starts moving. Well, I mean, it takes, like, a split second, but, like, it, it, it has weight to it. And it. When you let go, it, like, keeps going, you know what I mean? Like, it's, ugh. Like, everything has, like, inertia, which is just, even this, this far into the game, it's still, you have to compensate for it. It's like, oh, I want to stop here. You gotta like, let go like a split second early, so you kind of stop where you need to stop, and so on and so forth. <laughs> Sorry, fans, this is a radio tower. Transmits loot signals, I believe it. Alright, test the magic. Let's put, a, let's put a piece of paper right where you're standing so you don't see it when you warp in. That's a good idea. To give four basic needs. What? Or basically needs to be like food, shelter. We got like, man. I hope I, oh, man. If if I need if I need the spells, I'm missing. I'm fucked. <laughs> I have no idea where those spells could be. I mean, well, I have a general idea where they they could end up. But I don't want to go find those spells. It's gonna suck. Alright. Four basic needs, I'm assuming is food, but... Hmm. Where are we right now, actually? Oh, they teleported us to 11. Okay, so 11 is the test. So I don't think we're actually going to be doing anything on 11 other than just these tests.
Here moves with the current. Control it and I will it will pass. Control the current. There's wind mastery. I don't get what I'm supposed to do. Fail, fail. I don't know, did that do anything? I don't get it. Like so many vague things in this game. This looks like potential. <laughs> you just get an empty room with a piece of paper that tells you something. Like I don't get it. <laughs> Victuals? What? what? The fuck is a victual? Word I've never heard of before. Victual. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to cast certain things in certain areas? Am I supposed to move those pieces of paper somewhere? Hmm. Vittles? It was like Vit Vic V I C. Maybe. Door's locked. <clears throat> I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I think we're supposed to do this stuff. Maybe I put them on, put them on those tables, maybe? I don't know. As far as I can tell, I can only summon... Lightning, I guess. the magic, so I'm assuming you're supposed to cast some spells or some asylum. Maybe create walls here. Like lock us in or something. Or something like that. <sighs> Fail miserably. summon something. Alright, so you definitely have to do certain things. Shelter completed. Okay, so you definitely have to do specific things here. I don't know if I need to pick up that paper. I'm concerned about those spells I'm missing now. I'm really concerned. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Stay over plate until test is over. sleep while that thing is up.
No. I think I. It's like a... I don't know if this is timer based or what. I can nuke them with fire or something. No. I mean, I got to floor 12, but we have to go back down to floor 3 to go to this library and do some tests. imagine these tests are going to be relatively complicated. Yeah, I don't know if I just have to kill these things. I mean, I don't really have an easy way of killing these things from range. I got, got the fire storm thing. Killing them was a good idea. Maybe it's supposed to. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, you joke, but I got like a hundred and got like a hundred and five percent in in grade twelve calc. <laughs> in high school. Yay, bonus points. <laughs> See what's over here. I'm assuming I wasn't supposed to, you know, to do that. Let's see. Let's, let's wait a minute. Uh, where was where would that lead? That floor grate. Uh, well, it's an area I haven't been. Wait, why is this level ten completely unexplored? Did I just like man? I have to redo all level ten too. Didn't I like basically finish ten? That's weird. Yeah, like all these maps, they're like unfinished. So. Strange. <laughs> I guess the save file doesn't like. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I've already visited those areas, but kind of odd. Kind of odd. That, like basically wiped my maps. <laughs> it's confusing. So have I been here? I don't know. And I don't know if I fucked this up by like getting off the the thing. I do only play good RPGs, you're right. Hmm. I, mean, I, I can't see, like, having taken this long to do whatever. Maybe. Yeah, I think I picked this up. I probably like I have to restart. I don't know if I just have to. I can't. I can't see like having to die. Mm. Watch them different games in one stream. Yeah.
Nothing happened yet. Uh, yeah, I probably fucked myself over if I get off the thing. That's why I leave and come back. It makes a clicking sound, but... <laughs> in the Fed watch list, yeah. We're all on the Fed watch list. Let's reload. Like, I'm assuming this is the opening in this door or something, so... There's no way it would take, like, more than a minute. <laughs> Buck time. Yeah. How's it going, Core, by the way? Yeah, Core Tour is going to be amazing. It's been a while since I played it, but. Four basic needs. I mean, there's the asylum is like shelter, there's food. Maybe the victuals thing could be food. Uh, safety or something, maybe that's. I don't know. What's the. Yeah, this one here, the... Like, Wind Mastery would make the most sense for this one, because it like blows away fear, like you would think, right? Fear moves with the current, control it and it will pass, so Wind Mastery, right? But... Cast Wind Mastery in here and nothing happened, but maybe I had to... Maybe I didn't look around too well? Let's see. Yeah, maybe I didn't look over to the side. Okay, so that was that. Presence has left. Test has passed. Okay. I don't know if I need those papers. Let's leave them there for now. Maybe you just need to, like, pass the test. Parasite Eve. Wait till we get to third birthday. Victual, okay. Yeah, I mean, Vitales or something. I mean, maybe it's just a, a weird, different pronunciation or something. Victuals. Either way, let's try creating food. I mean, it'd be the, be the first thing I would have tested anyways. You can cast fucking... There it is, yeah. Vision's accepted. And we know the uh, Simon one, so the only thing left is that that one there. Unless there's another. Yeah. I'm assuming this is this will open once we do all the tests. thing is that that last one there. Martin Luther King Day. Happy Martin Luther King Day, Rich. Third birthday of the Soft Force Stripper game. Yep, it's the best game. Let's get some food.
I'm gonna save first, and then I'll make it just a memory save in case I fuck something up. I'll, I'll try to... I don't know if I moved last time and I tried to murder them. I might have... I don't want your food. So, yeah, the, I mean, this definitely killed them. We have to kill them without moving, then maybe I moved at one point. I don't know. They're, they're pushing me back too, which isn't helping things. Succeed. Aww. I don't know if like them pushing me back is messing anything up. Nope, no no holiday. Our next holiday is like Family day in February. It's like, I don't know, I forget exactly what day of the, the week it is. Huh. door doesn't open. Maybe, maybe we... No, no, because there's, there's no sign saying, hey, you've successfully done this, so... Erg. Oh! It's open now? <laughs> okay, so that one doesn't even give you a fucking sign. That's just bullshit. Pass the test of the mage. I want that door. I want that door. I wasn't behind that door. They're like a... Lightning wand? Those things are good. Ooh, wand of Annihilation. This one's garbage. Cloak of the Mage? Hmm. Assuming that's worse than my armor, but... Oops. So what was behind that door, then? Unless that door opened... I wonder if that... Maybe that door opens if I move off the plate before killing those things? Maybe I actually succeeded last time, but... Because there's no nothing that shows up saying, hey, you've succeeded. I to reload and try that, but eh. Not really. Defense sucks. Uh, that give me, like, mana or something? No. Give me save? Alright, increase my save by one. But draws my defense by, uh... Maybe we should take it, just in case, like... Because I imagine the, la the final boss is, is a wizard, so... Maybe magic resistance would be useful. I got through this door, so it passed the test. There's this one door here that was op that was closed, but I don't know if I, I I didn't attempt to walk off the plate without killing these guys. So maybe maybe this door opens up if you do that. I don't know. I don't want to reload. <laughs> I didn't save. Ah, right here. Let's, let's try this. Let's, save, let's make a memory save. 
And I'll load the cartridge save, just out of curiosity. And confusing that every other puzzle like gives you a piece of paper when you know you've successfully done it, that one doesn't. <laughs> It's just a trap room if you move off the thing. I don't think there's anything in here, is there? <clears throat> Alright, so... That's good. That is a lot of fucking imps. So that has passed, and thankfully it doesn't seem like I needed any of the spells I'm missing. Thank God for that, because that would have sucked. Create food. What do we need? So we need create food. Uh, I'm assuming we just had to kill those things with range attacks. I wonder what would happen if I used a bow. And we had to create wall, luckily, and we had the wind mastery, so... That's a good thing we picked up the Wind Mastery, because that one's definitely missable. If you kill the dude without getting that or something, unless he drops it. Hmm. ASX on the Wii U. <laughs> He's too tiny for them. I should, I should play uh, Mass Effect on the uh, on the Wii U. Cap of Brilliance. It's gonna increase my intelligence or something. Twelve intelligence. Yeah, increase my intelligence by two. <laughs> Let's keep it. What can I get rid of here? What am I never going to use? This, this, this sort of weight. This sort of mass. And these stones, I don't know if these are useful for anything. I've been keeping them just in case they're like, you know, they're needed for, 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 for like special stuff, but... Lift it up, it's too heavy. Stuck in my bag forever. There you go. Get rid of this piece of junk. I don't know if this Mesa Disruption is any good. these just in case. I'll be playing... I'm assuming there's not enough difference between Legendary Edition and newer ones other than just quality of life stuff, so I'll be playing the Legendary Edition. A lot of black pearls. <laughs> Got the last spell. Still missing those two spells, but I'll be wanting to have enough mana to cast it. Yep. <laughs> Thought so. Although if we put that crap cap of brilliance on, maybe we'll have enough. So we had no, we still only had twenty mana, so it doesn't increase our mana at all. 
gives us maybe better chance of casting without failing, or maybe more damage. I missed one, one of the DLC. Yeah, but I don't plan on playing the DLC anyways for uh, the original ones, so it doesn't really matter in that case, right? Like, I wouldn't download anything additional. If it comes pre-built on the disc, I'd play it, like, you know, Morrowind Game of the Year Edition. But if it's something that's actually separate from the main game and you have to download it separately, definitely wouldn't uh, play it. Where am I right now? Oh, we're down. Why are we over here? God damn it. Put us back to... Why is my map not revealed? Damn it. All that work I did to reveal the map in the game is like, no. Alright. Play. Mostly have it memorized in my brain. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, in cases like that where like, the majority of the DLC or whatever is on it, then sure, I'll play the DLC, but I'm not gonna... If, if let's say, there's a game that's released without the DLC, and yet and the DLC is only available like, separately, then yeah, I'm not gonna purchase extra DLC to play those. But any games that have Game of the Year editions, I try to get those versions if possible. Okay, yeah, so this is this is what Tex was mentioning there. So that bronze key, even though I dropped that off over there, it still shows up where the... Like, it doesn't save the, the new location of the, uh, the, the guard. So where I killed the guard last, if I reload from, like, a, a cartridge save from, like, a, a full reset, they stand... Their, their corpse is where you kill them last, and the key is where the corpse is. Yeah, I guess you can't really soft lock technically. So I'm assuming any NPCs you kill. So if you kill an NPC that's supposed to give you something, and you you save and reload. I bet you that that item that you would need to get is probably on that NPC. Maybe. Oh, crap. It has not in the box copy ever found. Yeah, I mean the DLC for the most part is good stuff, but a lot of the games with like tons of DLC generally have Game of the Year editions like Witcher 3, all you know, the Fallout games, etc. Alright, so this is the test of So we had magic, so it's gonna be strength for sure, and be the third one. Speed, maybe? Dexterity kind of thing? Oh god. It's the speed. I do have that potion of speed still, I never used. No DLC for me, RIP DLC. I'm gonna have to punch things here. Punch things really hard. You just carry some really heavy things. Use of magic is prohibited. Okay. Yes, maybe. I just have to kill things using melee. Yeah, so it looks like floor 11 is basically going to be these tests, so... So, yeah, pretty much, once we're done this, we go back to 12, and that should be pretty much the game, maybe? Unless there's some hidden floors that they don't... You know, it's like, surprise, there's actually 20 floors! I know, right? You think they you think they would do like signs or something, but no. Somebody's moving. Cut. Need the rusty sword. I wonder if No magic includes oh god. Wait a second, I'm almost there. <sighs> Uh, 
just realized, like, if, if you're a magician, to get into the library and stuff, you'd have a hard time. The magicians would have a really hard time with melee stuff. Well, notes scribbled in the walls would kind of make sense. Let's say you're an adventurer and you're, you've gone, gone through the dungeon before. You might throw uh, some clues to other adventurers, like, hey, you know, some, like some graffiti. Number of Titans. Ten to sixty. Fourteen attack. Pretty good. <laughs> Throw that in my Yeah, I'm pretty sure these stones are useless. <laughs> you know as soon as you drop them, that's when they <laughs> they're needed all of a sudden. I don't need this sharp sword anyways. How heavy is this thing anyways, I wonder? So with the plate armor right now, I'm at 143 weight. And I'm 78. Man, that plate armor is heavy. Almost 70 pounds. This thing is heavier. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, I don't think we're ever going to use that. Yeah, true. <laughs> Unless the adventurer is just an ass. I mean, maybe it's a chaotic... Uh, <laughs> it's a chaotic good, so he's, he's leaving you clues. <laughs> but uh, he's going to make it uh, really annoying to find. Okay, well, at this point, I think, I think we have enough potions. Hey, Baines, how's it going? came in, right? Or is it? Right. I'm doing good. How you doing? Yes, this controller I'm using is pretty much finished. I've used this controller way too much. All the buttons are sticking this one multiple times, replace the, the pads multiple times, I think it's time to retire it. Tired, uh, time to rest, time to get some relaxation. Uh, it's just a PS4 controller. One I use for PC. Anything on PC? <sighs> I mean, this one's basically Game Boy Advance. Oops, wait, that's right. Put my sword back. No. He's golden so fast, by the way. <laughs> Dr. 
rest. Most of the shoulder buttons are... They get stuck in... And I've, I've cleaned this one multiple times, so it's not like... It's just the, the plastic, I think, is getting to the point where it's just... Yeah, it's just pulling apart at this point. I don't know how many thousands of hours I put on this thing, but... PS4 controllers definitely aren't made like... Uh, I said, PS2 controllers... I was gonna say, I'm still using my original one, but I actually had to retire one because the analog stick was finally done. I tried to replace the analog stick, but... My soldering skills are pretty bad, and you have to solder like 20 freaking pins to, to remove those things, and... I put the new uh, analog stick I picked up in there, but... Now it's just like, you go into the menus and it, it just stays stuck in a direction. It's like, alright, I fucked something up. <laughs> so I had to retire it. But on the analog stick, that thing was working perfectly. That, that thing probably has like 5,000 plus hours easily on it. PS3 controllers didn't last as long. PS4 controllers are the worst. Like This one here is just falling apart. It's been using for so long because, you know, hate throwing things away. I don't want... I want to cast magic. I don't want to cast create food. Just in case fucks it up. Quickness, already have one of those. Wait, did I throw... Is that what I threw away? Yeah, I think that's what I threw away there in sort of quickness. Um, am I ever going to use this Titan thing? Let's, let's be honest here. It's too freaking heavy. Okay, well, I doubt these are ever going to be used. I can't even lift up this. Sort of weight is too heavy. You watch, I'm gonna need that sort of weight. <laughs> or the, the stone of weight. The PS5 controllers, every generation, they just get worse and worse. It's like... I mean, obviously, they they put more and more technology in them, so of course, they're gonna break, but stuff like you would expect to last a lot longer, like, the, the thing that breaks the fastest on the new controllers is the analog sticks. Like, how... Like, my PS4, like, the, the fucking rubber is, like, rubbing off the things, and this one here specifically, uh, one of the directions, the analog stick just doesn't work. I mean, like, I've never had an analog stick issue with the, any of my other ones, except for them just wearing down too too much. Like, my PS2 controller was just done. Like, it, it's a mechanical, you know, failure at that point. But these ones here, like, the freaking rubber peeling off of the, the analog stick. Like, uh, that happens within, you know, like doesn't happen it doesn't take too long for that to happen like they just use like cheap materials it seems I can memory save just in case until we finish the actual yeah exactly like they, they just don't make them like they used to like I can see like the overall controller breaking down over time but like the other thing too is the the rubber underneath those buttons like, I don't know how many times I've... Like, in this controller, I've, I've probably replaced the, the rubber underneath those buttons, like, three or four times. Like, those things do not last. Like, how, how is it... My original PS2 controller, I've never had to do anything like that. The, the rubber is perfect. Like, this one, the rubber just falls apart. Like, it, it's just, like, how... And these controllers aren't cheap, either. You're not, you're not paying, like, you know, the same price and getting more technology. You're, you're, you're getting, like... You're paying more and more for these controllers, but they, like, they're using cheaper and cheaper components. It's freaking annoying. Hmm. Am I broken? So I clearly went in that room. Just not mapping anymore. 
Oh, I didn't go in this room. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. All right, what is this? Gloves of strength. How do I wear those? Here. I already have 20 strength. Uh, here? No. Zero food, by the way. No sleeping for me. Uh... Unless it brings your strength up to 20 and already have 20, so it can't go any further. Maybe that's what it is. Door. Well, that was pointless. What was the point of that? Hey, Endlog, how's it going? Wait, is there a... No. Hmm... Uh, well, I'm supposed to go to the top of the tower. I've, I've reached the top, but then we, now we have to go down and do some tests. We have to go back to level 3, but then teleport us to level 11, so... Unless these gloves of strength, maybe one of, one of these items may be a key. Maybe the maybe the gloves of strength makes it so you can like lift. Actually, no, the weight's still the same. Maybe we need to use this Titan hammer thing as the key. Of course, it's super heavy, and gloves of strength are, are designed for like weak characters to be able to lift it. That's probably what it is. That would make sense to this thing be the key, considering it's like... No? We have to smash the door with it? No? Hmm... Well, this isn't helpful. Visited the entire area, I've killed everything. Maybe I'll use those gloves of strength to open the door. Maybe it's like you're just tearing the door open <laughs> with the gloves. Yes, yes, I feel hungry, I know. I haven't played enough GameCube to know how long those things last. All I know is like I played I played so many hours using my PlayStation controllers, so that's why I have definitely got the most experience with, with how long those things last. Most that's on they can play the controller, but they want the entire console pack. Wow. Kinda crazy. Oh, hey Puff Nips. Ah, the game's been okay. Emulation's been perfect, so definitely if you want to play a Jaguar games, I definitely recommend this emulator. Uh, where's my gloves of strength? No, I'll put it on the ground. Either way, this doesn't seem to be a key, so let's put it back in our bag. Never take it out again because it's so freaking heavy. No. Hum. Use that as a weapon? <laughs> no. I don't know where this is supposed to go. This, at least the magic one had some sort of sensible, like there's notes everywhere. This one just has two dudes and then a locked door and then a hidden area that doesn't have anything in it. I know, right? Yes, yeah, the one the Atari 50 uses, yeah. It's a big P emu, it's called.
let's see. There's gotta be something in here, like it has to be something here. There's no secrets as far as I can tell. There's nothing on, on the ceiling, there's nothing on the ground. Maybe you just need to bring something here. Secret doors. Yeah, it's nice for digital clips to release that. Yeah, all it says is use magic prohibited, but. What this spot had those, uh. This one has some weird spots here. Anything special to these shields? Need to smash these shields with those things. Feels like maybe we have to bring something to this. I mean, it wouldn't make sense, but There's a key there. God damn it. Uh, he's, <sighs> this game with keys and dropping on enemies, just fucking hell. You can't see the keys, like when the enemy dies. It's like, let's just have the key just appear behind the corpse. Oops. Throw the key at the door. I'm trying to figure out if there's like some weird the key is the key, apparently. The key that was dropped by those fucking golems. <sighs> Get to put the breast sword back on. area. Locked. It's probably the uh, exit. Somebody moving.
pressure plate there. Place mass swords here. Great. And go pick up those swords. Uh, let's put my armor right there so I don't uh, be too heavy to bring. <laughs> Woman can gem is exclusive. <laughs> I will. Lighter hat on. Give me enough. Uh, okay, it's light enough so I can throw it in here. Put that in my weightless bag. Nip nip soon. Soon TM. We got this guy on the way. I mean, this guy alone is gonna be like beefy game. Is there more? <laughs> I've only seen two golems. God, I'm hoping I have to go out and get the, the ones from those other golems. It's a promising thing. An unplayable basketball game where every time you make a basket, the game spasms words over the screen and say stuff like Slima, Slima, Bama, Jamma, Razzle, McDazzle, Dazzle. <laughs> that sounds amazing. When can I play it? Okay, that southern area was like half up to the floor well. That had to hurt. No, oh, that that looks jank. Oh god. <sighs> We're not done. <laughs> Wait. That did hurt core. <laughs> Alright. Swords again. <laughs> There's a reason we're not wearing pants. <laughs> we got like boots, we got a top, and that's it.
annoying part is the game clearly detects when these things are on there. But on that one part of the uh, the game where we had to kill the golem, but had to be standing on top of the, the pit, I imagine, since it seems like the game just... If you, let's say, you would have saved and reloaded your... Uh, your save that corpse probably would have st stood on top of that, on on top of that pad. Anyways, you probably would have been safe. If you uh, saved and reloaded. It definitely seems like they, they at least do put them on like on, on the correct spots when you reload from a cartridge save after like resetting the console. But only after resetting the console. Otherwise, you just think you soft block yourself and you haven't actually haven't done. All right, let's make another save. It is. Any games with in limited inventory always sucks ass. With like really limited inventory, especially non-stackable inventory. Of course, I'm hoarding a whole bunch of stuff that I might not equip with the. Uh, else, if I equip the uh, rusty sword, right? It's this guy waiting to kill me. <laughs> How's he not done any damage? of food and I don't want to risk summoning more food. I do have healing potions if I need. Just keep that breasty sword equipped until we're out of here. And we're out of here. Hooray! Okay, so you get the same, like, prize room, quote-unquote. I don't know, because it said no magic allowed, so I don't know if any kind of magic. Although, I, I don't think you can, uh... Sword is that one? I don't think you could, uh, do any damage to the, the golems with magic anyways. Maybe that's what it meant by no magic allowed, because you can't kill them with the magic. So you are basically had to use the rust sword. It's just in the mass sword. Alright, I'm assuming I don't need that anymore now. Get this thing of, of speed next. Let's throw this quickness sword on. Since we're out of that place now, it should be safe to use this. For Nomen. Not hungry. Not my hungry. There. Uh, which one was which? Fifty fifty chance. I don't know where the other one takes me. Oh, it might just take me back upstairs. Hey, Mr. J. It does not What? Are you part of the Spanish Inquisition? I knew it. What? Mr. J voting for Nep Nep? 
didn't expect that whatsoever. Okay, I don't think I need this key anymore. Alright, I don't know what the speed one is going to be. It's good. I don't know if I, I want to do anything to do with speed in this game. I'm going to have to like, run really fast, aren't I? Great bows. We're gonna need bows. Longbow. Well, I do have my bow of ac crossbow of accuracy or whatever it was. There's no note, which doesn't help. <laughs> this one you can do whatever. You can use magic, you can use melee. It stops, yes, after uh, dot hack. So basically, at the, be at, at the beginning of uh, buck time, that way it gives me at least one game buffer to prepare whatever I need to prepare for the game. Scan manuals and stuff. I mean, usually, whenever there's fast forward picks, I, I, I use that as an excuse to scan all the manuals for the games, just to make it, uh, assuming I haven't already, or it you know, doesn't have a manual. That way it kind of, like, <laughs> gets those added to the library. Other than that, like, any overlays or whatever you might need. Though at this point, do I have any systems I don't have overlays for at this point? Yeah, I've made DS, 3DS, uh... I mean, DS and 3DS are probably the only... Okay, a lot of quivers here, so... Let's try out this crossbow of accuracy. Yeah, well this one here I don't count, right? It's a return to a previous game, so... For all intents and purposes, this game doesn't exist. <laughs> In terms of, like, the the counting. Base prize here. Did that thing drop something? There's a pressure plate there. We have to do like a race. Not cross plate until prizes won. Didn't drop anything. Maybe I had to shoot there, like maybe I had to shoot an arrow at that spot. Well, there's nothing to shoot. Can't see the things. 
Damn it. <laughs> oh god, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Something purple there. Split second before we got murdered. I'm guessing that was the, uh, the don't cross the thing until... Where am I? Oh, this is the magic one. Oh yeah, this is the mask one, okay, never mind. Loaded the wrong save. <clears throat> music, yeah, the music is just this generic, kind of weird, repeated loop thing. Jaguar CD, yeah. Well, this this one doesn't emulate Jaguar CD apparently, so. But I, I, as far as I'm aware, there's still no Jaguar CD emulators. But I mean, they might add might add Jaguar CD support at some point. Because you know people are clamoring for Jaguar CD support. <laughs> yeah, 13 games, yeah. I'm curious what the hell that thing was that murdered me. Okay, it's just like... It's just a big ass... Okay, it's probably the ball of annihilation or whatever. I mean, it did survive a hit, so... So technically, I could uh, I could survive it, but it's gonna be annoying having to try to hit that thing. Need to let's time it. <clears throat> I just like, it's like, you know what, he's probably on his way. So... Did that count? Is there gonna be more? Did, did I get a first prize? I don't know. I just like picked up brought a diamond from somewhere else, technically, if diamond was the first prize. Okay, those pur purple balls aren't coming, so... Yeah, I mean, obviously a lot of that is to do with the, uh, the hardware limitations, right? This looks fun. No, this is it. Just need to pick up this apple. I'm 
was just supposed to dodge that stuff. Wait, we're back here. Or maybe now we can open that, that door. You bring some more arrows. That'll be helpful against those annoying imps in the uh, top floor there. Exactly. Space tank everything. Where's the nerve found another like there's four slots for bags. Feels like there should be at least one more bag somewhere. Maybe I missed one somewhere. For these stones, I'm pretty sure these. I mean, these you can actually hold in your off hand, so I, I'm pretty sure these are just like for extra stats, more so than actually, you know, being needed for anything. Famous last words. Please insert stones. Fuck. Stone in the ground. Those of accuracy. Oops. Um, increase dexterity, maybe? No. Hack? No. I'm not sure what that does. Even my dexterity is as high as it can be, or something. Either way. Okay, so... What now? Did all the, uh, tests. Maybe one of these is gonna teleport us to, like, a, a new place now. Hey, new garden. Yeah, I finished the three puzzles, three tests. And I don't know what's going to happen now. Um, let's try the other teleporter. Just takes us here. Hmm. There's no other doors or anything, right? This would give us a clue to how to open that door on top, but... <laughs> Was this here before? This just takes us here. Um... See any new areas we could go to?
read those notes. Maybe those notes changed. I don't know if we have to go anywhere after doing these tests. No, the notes are saying the same. Hmm. Uh, there's some evil wizard at the top of the tower you have to go kill. You know, typical Western RPG kind of evil wizard must stop. Hmm. Let's need to bring the items you get at the end of these. It's called an excuse plot, yeah. I think you get something here after, you know, playing all three puzzles. Oh, this is just. Oh, wait. Pearls of Power. Okay, that's different. Those are black pearls. Hmm. Okay, there was a black pearl. <laughs> so there's black pearls and pearls of power. But it still doesn't really change anything. And I could have gotten that in the first one. But what the fuck? just takes us over here. Huh. Maybe I have to go back. It wouldn't make sense to have to go back up, up to the floor to uh, talk to the NPC there who told us to go get to do the and the main issue is, is just floor 12, you have those those eight pole chains, so I figured this test would give us the answer to those eight pole chains, but we completed all the tests, right? At this point, the only thing I can think of is just to go back to. Like maybe, maybe we just needed to do the puzzle to, or the, the tests. Like maybe those full chains have nothing to do with this test, but maybe it would have been prevented. I don't know. Well, let's go back upstairs. Uh, <laughs> if I can remember how. Quest for cheese. Cheese is important. Wait, these things respawn. Doors reclosed, like everything. Water things are still dead. I think the doors don't relock.
Equinox, how's it going? Uh, The trap in front of me. You do see, like, the, the floor does look a little more cracked, so you can kind of spot cracked floors, but you have to really look on that floor texture. Here, down over there. I, mean, I really hope I didn't need anything specific there, but still didn't. didn't the main issue is how do we get through those pole chains? There's got to be, it's got to be somebody who has information on how to get through those pole chains. Unless I just trial and error it. 256 possible combinations. That's gonna suck. Just the uh, corpses are still like unsummoned, I guess. Yep. Had to go back to this Jaguar Grin game now that we have working Jaguar emulation. Went way back. nothing I missed over there, but I did all the tests, so I'm gonna talk to those NPCs, maybe they'll say like, hey, you succeed the test, here's the here's the here's the prize. <laughs> Here here's the, the answer to get through those those areas. I mean, after this, what do we have? Like, I guess portable systems would probably have something similar. Is there anything like this on the? It's probably something like this on the on the DS, I would imagine. Not so much the Game Boy Advance, but I see the DS having some jank stuff like this. Back here. Wait, you just want another crystal ball? So those crystal balls respawn. These guys respawn.
too heavy. You want... Yeah, friendly word sire. I did finish this level, didn't I? Like, like the map isn't revealed, but then the map got erased in a lot of the other levels, but. That was just like missing chunks for some odd reason. No, they're just. They're just being polite. Yeah, see, like, the crystal balls respawn, which is odd. Hit her at the crystal ball instead of <sighs> whatever. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same information, anyways. Like, use them, look at the map. I broke the crystal ball. That's even worse. You can throw it and break it. But, but I guess reloading will uh, bring it back, anyways, so whatever. I don't see if anything's different on the eighth floor, on the uh, twelfth floor. Do the whole thing if you do, because <laughs> it's a one-way, one-way trip. It's the problem with momentum-based movement. <laughs> Sometimes you can't stop in time. I mean, I could cast that levitate spell to be safe, but... did the same damn thing. Alright. I don't know, do we want to do a cartridge save here? Uh, let's do memory save. I just don't know if, like, if that did anything. Like, I did the test, but, like, eh. The only clue I have to go on is the. is like south up. 
And like, there was... Is there another floor maybe that had... No. Like, sort up, south up, and then, like... And then, like, the, the, the top floor has, like, a uh, an N up. It's only two clues I, I can see that might have something to do with those pull chains, but... I don't know. Go up, down, down, left, right, left, right. A, B, B, A, start. <sighs> so I don't know what the hell, like... I, th I thought those tests were gonna give me, like, the clue to, to those eight things. This is gonna be... <sighs> Common time. What are these? You can throw these at something. Yep, an entire wheel of cheese as well. Dude was hungry. <laughs> Tire loaf of bread, just chomp. Crossbow here. Damn it. Yes, yeah, gloves and rings only, so the gloves can definitely go here. Three hits from this crossbow kills these imps. <sighs> wonder if you know, I wonder if like the position of these imps makes a difference. <sighs> Can I go backwards? <sighs> like three imps between each of these, but they're just between the, the the pull strings. I doubt that's any sort of indication.
infinitely easier with these. This me sucks. They are. They don't have the, the best animations for their characters. I think there's still some flying around somewhere. I should rest. Yeah, so you like got north and then arrow pointing up. You got like in the other place you got south and arrow pointing up. Uh, those have anything to do with these pull chains? I have no idea. And this is eight chains, which means this is uh, 256 possible combinations here. But at this point, like, the fuck. <sighs> Maybe just the like I, I tried the north and south chains. I tried leaving them up. Let's just try putting them down. Like leaving the other chains alone. Maybe like if you all this, I, I, I don't get it. Like I still had one south chain to pull. The fuck! I I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> maybe like maybe this one isn't needed, or I wonder. I'm kind of curious now. <laughs> Did I save before doing that? No. What if I did all the south and all the north? It still would have worked, but maybe it's like... I don't know. Whatever. I'm not looking to get horse in the mouth. Fuck that. <laughs> it's like south up and north up. Like, if, if, that if those clues even have anything to do with this puzzle... Huh? If it doesn't have anything to do with this puzzle... I don't think I've had anything even mention, like... I don't know. Whatever. Good. <sighs> Save before going in here. Oh, 
that one is good. <laughs> I'm just confused. Like either either those those things those like north and south thing are for a completely different puzzle that we haven't encountered yet, and then there was another clue that somehow told you to do that, or maybe that was I mean it was the north and south, but I didn't hit all the south ones either, so I I don't know. <laughs> I can help. You you just Whatever, you run away, whatever. <sighs> well, one of the bosses we fought earlier was like one of those... One of those wizard dudes, but... Clearly that's not the boss. Okay, this guy is different. Um, he's not attacking me. <laughs> Am I supposed to attack him? Was he expecting me to come from another direction? I think he was expecting me to come from another direction. Without a charge, it's just one charge. <laughs> Standing in a nice line to be murdered. I wish I kept that one of annihilation. <laughs> this guy's using magic, so let's uh, put on our magic resistance shit. guy's just wrecking me. The fact that you can, like, sneak behind him is, is interesting, but, uh... Wish I could cast this. <laughs> Unless I can get him, like, in a cheese area where I can, like... Get him to attack me without, you know, being able to hit me. I should be using that, uh, sort of, uh... That, that sword of... whatever the hell it was, the, the... Holy Avenger sword against these guys. Would actually probably be better. I still have my quiver. I still have one full quiver. Maybe I should use that and just kite the boss a bit.
Nice of him just to, like, leave me alone while I sleep. <laughs> Try this sword. You can use these guys to like burn him. Those dudes will will cast and they'll like go hit uh, their own dudes. <sighs> Cut around until they kill the dude. That's a good question. I wonder if I can like, if I if I aggro one of them with a bow or something like that from back here, and then have him between me and him, he'll uh, if they'll hit him and he'll just stand there. <laughs> good try. I mean, this, this weapon doesn't seem to be doing much anyways. Let me be like, one-shot these guys. If anything, that other sword would be a better... Okay, yeah, definitely accurate. <laughs> Why, it, why is it shooting that? <laughs> like, not even in the center of the screen. Apparently I broke my bow. <laughs> Probably best to start off with that, uh... Get rid of this, first of all, since it seems to use up the only charge it had, which is unfortunate. Hey, seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright. Keeps using this crushing hand spell on us. Get him stuck on the corners, and that'd be amazing. Thank you. Even worse is when he's wandering around, and I have no idea where he is. gone. Can I <laughs> do this? No. I need to kill him first. Anybody seen a wizard? <laughs> I don't know where he went. Where'd he come from? Must have like snuck right past, right beside him. Technically, I'm at, I'm at the top of the tower. It's the last four. Let's see if I can get them. These guys like on the opposite side of them. The problem is, then I'm like. In front of him. <laughs> Wonder if I can aggro that guy in the front over there, but without aggroing him. Why is it attacking there? Like, fuck. <laughs> I'm trying to hit this guy. <laughs> Programming in this is weird. can go through the pillar. <laughs> Doesn't seem to act actively attack him, but those things do go through the pillar, so... I think I have my uh, cartridge save before I, I used it, so I might be okay there, but I just want to see if this is possible. Yeah, as soon as he gets attacked, he gets uh, he aggroes on us. Makes sense. Hand as fast as the problem too. <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> this is
damn it. This is gonna be hell. buddies. Cannot be close because you, you like cannot dodge those if you're. Yeah, and I have no idea how much help this guy has. It's like be insanely hard. Like I, I maybe I'm getting like a quarter of his health. Maybe I need to use a special item to, to damage him. That kind of thing, right? Like I'm, I'm doing damage to him. Like I'm seeing damage things. Like on like those golems there, where you know you weren't hitting them because you're literally not getting anything out of them. Getting stuck on these pillars. Wait, can I cast through those pillars? Okay, it seems like I can cast through those pillars. But he actively does not cast through them. Interesting to know. I cast crushing hand through it. <sighs> <sighs> the point is to get rid of those other two bastards. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem to. Okay, so it does seem like I can cast through the pillar. He doesn't seem to want to. Like he doesn't have line of sight, which pillars aren't considered line of sight for them. Shoot arrows through that, I wonder. my chance in this guy. Oh, my God. 
could just like I'll just ignore the fact that these guys were attacking. these dudes. <sighs> He's stuck. Nope. He's wanting to turn towards me, but... That one's not attacking me either, which is weird. <sighs> Never mind. like gets stuck in that position for some reason. He's trying to cast a spell. Maybe maybe that happens and you're supposed to do something to him at this point. If, he, if we walk up to him, is he going to attack me? Oh, he just... Alright. Just have to get close to him and he just dies. Or he teleported or something? I don't know. Works for me. to like smash this thing you need like a mace of elements or something hmm. where the fuck did I leave that oh man and of course we probably won't be in the same spot destroy the the globe or something. But I'm assuming he went inside the globe or something like that. No, we probably have to smash it using the Mace of Elements, but... Of course, I left that, like... <laughs> 
Yamert. The mace. I'm trying to recall where the mace was originally. Of course, everything seemed to reset to their positions, so. Um. Don't seem to do anything. Maybe that. that's. Ah, uh, oh, fuck it. Okay. Sword? Maybe? No. Hmm. Yeah, I bet you need that fucking mace of elements. Ah, uh, where did. It was definitely in the lower floors, because we used it to get through floor number three. I'm trying to recall where I originally saw that thing. Hey, Gargamel. Assuming this is what we need to do, but I'm assuming we're supposed to smash this thing with a mace of elements. Arg. get a sneak attack and just like insta kill these things. <sighs> and where the fuck did I leave that mace? Oh, it doesn't matter where I left it because it seems like everything reset their positions to the original state after I reloaded, so. And I'm trying to recall where I first saw that mace of elements. It definitely was on the earlier floors, because we used it on floor 3, so that's where we had to charge it up. Problem is, where did we get it from the first time? Like, was it in the first area I had to charge it? No, I think we had it before that. I remember picking it up fairly early on. Like, maybe on the first or second floor. Actually, I think it was the first floor. Actually, it might have been right at the beginning of the first, like, on, on the, uh, the first floor, um... A kind of throne room area, all the way to the first floor. <clears throat> so we have to go all the way down to the first floor, maybe. So I mean, this is what I need, but... I'm betting that's what we need to do right now. Because those, those... Those forms definitely implied that, you know, the mace could, like, destroy... Well, no, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be back where it was originally. Not like where I left it last, because everything else seemed to have reset in their original <clears throat> positions after I reloaded from the, uh, after like, <clears throat> basically shutting off the Jaguar slash the emulator, and reloading from cartridge save, everything reset to the original positions, and not, you know, their new positions. Far to get over there, though. It's in here. Navigation that doesn't help at all. Astral navigation. Is he navigating through the stars? What the fuck? 
This doesn't help at all. Missiles, garbage. Let me uh, throw the exploding box at it. Or the shot before going all the way back, back down. Maybe we just need to destroy the orb. Doodle Kings. Five and a half Doodle Kings. But you can't really rate a game using Doodle Kings, and Doodle King doesn't have feelings, so. So even if you gave an, gave an infinite Doodle Kings out of five, it's still a zero. I'll be better once I beat this game. Now I, I'm dreading having to go down to the first floor, but it would make the most sense at this point. There's definitely uh, parchments that mention the use of like the uh, the mace. I just I just thought the mace would need for the key, and you don't know, need it anymore. But now it's like I need to smash this thing with a mace. that fight. The fight itself isn't too bad, actually, considering. Don't know what that one does. Is there anything that was locked? Maybe that one was locked? I don't know. Which ones? <laughs> like Monster Hunter games? The Monster Hunters have credits. Terraria doesn't have a uh, physical uh, non limited release, so. Forger also not aware of a physical release. I don't really consider those RPGs more like, you know. More just uh, like adventure games, more so than an RPG. It's the only Jaguar game in RPG Quest. I had to go back to it because Jaguar emulation didn't work uh, when I played this originally, or it worked, but it, it was definitely very intermittent, very crashy. Now we got a good Jaguar emulator. There was nothing else on this floor, so man. Alright, let's go, let's go get that Wand of Annihilation. Or Wand. But, uh, man, I hope I need to use that Wand of Annihilation on it. Fuck. Another thing. I hope that mace is in the uh, first floor, because that's going to be so far to go. 
I'm gonna make sure I don't overwrite my my main save too. First fucking blower. Let's go shortcut here. It gets. It take longer going back up than it does to go down. Lots of pits, but. Yeah, I mean, you can force anything to be, uh... Runes of Virtue, I consider that an adventure game, not an RPG. I don't know what the hell the point of those tests were either. Like, what do those tests do? Did we even need them? They didn't seem to help me for, uh... Unless... The location of the tests? Because there's three things we have to do, and there's three tests, right? So we started off... Was it with like, hmm, maybe like the the starting location of each of these tests, like in the like quadrant? Maybe those are the four. It makes no sense if that's the case. I don't know. There's three tests and three pole chains, so. So maybe somehow the tests were telling you the location of the, like which chains to pull. I I don't know. I'm just pulling the straws here. Elden Ring is considered the best RPG. How's Elden Ring not an RPG, though? <laughs> yeah, let's make sure the wand isn't here or something. No. Okay, I'm pretty sure the wand, I think, if I vaguely remember, I think it was on the first floor, like in that throne room area. I hope it's still there. <laughs> Assuming this is even what I need, like, if, it, if, if I get this, go back up, and then still doesn't do anything, I... I don't know. How did I get back out of here? I had to go to that area, and then fall into some pits. Any action, in any action adventure game, on RPGs, like there, there is no one and done definition for RPGs. Period. No matter how you try to like define RPG, there's going to be things that are like they can make an argument. There's an RPG that doesn't fit in those like 
exact specifications or whatever. Genres, by definition, are just <laughs> vague. There's, there's no... There's no perfect genre definitions. First floor. Okay, so yeah, let's try the throne room area. I think that's where we, we picked it up originally. Yeah, this is very long ago. question is, is this going to be what we need? <laughs> you two do not consider souls likes to be RPGs. Also include Monster Hunter as not an RPG. I mean, those ones that like Monster Hunter is definitely a strong. There's definitely a strong argument against it being an RPG, but. You know, I figured, like, hey, whatever. I'd rather be inclusive with our RPG quests than, you know, be, uh, uninclusive. So, I'm definitely more likely to play the gray area stuff than not. <sighs> Mainly because, you know, it's nice getting a good change, right? Just like that werewolf one. The werewolf one I just played is clearly not an RPG. Like, I... I would definitely be in an RPG camp with that. Of course, a lot of sites had it listed as an RPG because they it's like, oh, it's based on the world of darkness, therefore it's an RPG. No, it's not. But you know, it was it was just fun, mindless hack and slash for like a stream. You know what I mean? Definitely not game of the year in any any stretch of the imagination. But you could just turn off your brain and just. Mash buttons. Mash buttons, things go dead. I remember... I remember the path here. It's been a long time since I've been here. The hala is included. Only because somebody, like, strong-armed me into it, but... That's it. That's, that's the only... one I'm including. You're lucky you got that. Yeah, yeah, luckily, the, I mean, there's still a decent number of Monster Hunter games, but yeah. Playing the ultimate version, it's just like Pokemon, right? It was like three freaking Pokemons per generation. At least RPG the bunch. Eh.
there and almost there better be what we need because fuck a long ass trip for nothing otherwise that mm. is <laughs> weird. It's not my fault the momentum sucks in this game. If you try and playing this game, you'll see how bad the momentum controls are. This is like the worst thing. How many these aren't shooting uh, lightning anymore? Because the dude died, he's not like summoning lightning now? Or he didn't die yet, I guess he just went into the thing. The game expects us to revisit these areas. It's strange. shooting lightning anymore. Interesting. gonna hover over the other pit but <laughs> seems like nope I'm just gonna have you go up here will save since we went all that way anyways even if this isn't the thing Uh, 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 uh,
me die this thing first, because <laughs> I can't hit him. Let's make a memory save. You don't need levels per se to to uh, to count as an RPG, but it definitely helps. Come on, Mace of Elements, please. Only the Mason you allowed. Okay, well, that's a good sign. Uh, I just have to strip naked? <laughs> Thank God I didn't make that trip for nothing. I'm going in just with my Mace. <laughs> I guess I kind of need the mace first. I mean, if this is the end, I don't care. <laughs> Never touch the ball, you gotta strip naked with only your shaft, yep. Full commando on this one. Got my fist out. <laughs> All right, please be it. Feel pull as you touch the crystal with the mace. Where are you going? How will you return? What has the gone done? The end? We continued in Towers 3. God, this feels like feels like the end of uh what's what's the Sega C D Dungeon Master 2? That's it. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank God. Man, that was not a wasted trip. That would have sucked if I went all the way down. I thought we'd have to destroy the thing, though. I assumed I was using, I was bringing there to, to destroy the the orb, not get pulled into it. I don't know. I'm confused. Whatever. Excellent, Jim Degon. Yeah, I thought, I thought he was using it to destroy the thing. I thought he was, like, gone inside. It's like, alright, let's smash the orb. That way he's, like, stuck inside the orb or whatever, or he dies. I guess it was a teleportation orb, and... So where did he go? Did he teleport away? And... I don't know. <laughs> so many questions. What's next? The Xbox. We're going to the... to, uh... KOTOR. Knights of the Old Republic. Right, 1995. The end. Never see an Atari Jaguar game again. <laughs> like the only music in this game is the the ending music, other than the uh, basic music. They couldn't figure out how to put the copyright symbol. Was there even a copyright symbol in the uh, Jaguar font? system that they're probably using. Yep. <laughs> Their job is done. GG. <laughs> Half-Life Zen, yeah. Thanks, Yerdain. We'll let this music play out, see if anything happens. While I do that, might as well fill up the spreadsheet. This is 
them down in the realm of the free use by the game. <laughs> I mean, if you want to spend like $700 to get a legitimate copy of this game in a, a Jaguar, be my guest. This is a lot of music for this ending thing. There's like more music at, at the end of the game than there is in the entire rest of the game. Game 150 is officially done now. It's no longer on hold. Beaten on 1 16 23. But we beat Kingsfield game 149 in 2018. We beat game 150 in 2023. Almost five years after the original attempt. Jaguar, put the right time in. 20 hours, 31 minutes, and 36 seconds. Side questions drawn forever, yeah. So, rating wise, uh, I mean, it's passable. Definitely not the quickest thing. The controls are probably the most annoying thing out of this. They're really like momentum based controls. So, we'll give it a three star for the era. This, this came out basically the exact same time as uh, Kingsfield came out on the PS on the PS1. It's definitely a way weaker game than Kingsfield. Hey, Water Maven, how's it going? You had five years, yeah. Alright. Officially beaten. Alright, so obviously this music just keeps going forever. Well, no, I'm comparing to other games in the era. And I was looking at the list, and I literally... Pl I, I would have played this right after Kingsfield. So, going from Kingsfield to this, Kingsfield was definitely a stronger game. Definitely a way stronger game than this. Alright, so now let's see, let's see if any of my commands are broken, because this game was, like, on hold. So, next five... Should start with this guy, yeah? Yeah, okay, good. And current. I think the way I had it set up on my list, it shouldn't break anything. Yeah, it's, it's the best and worst Jaguar RPG. Okay, good. Alright. We can turn off the Jaguar forever. Say goodbye. Never look back. Turn... Actually, before we do that, let's, let's press a button and see if it, anything happens. Go back to the title screen, probably. Yep. That's it. Exit. Alright. 